what is flux? So flux is nothing more than stated before the amount of moles of A through a given area, let's say one meter to second power in a given time. So the units will be easy, is small of A per second per meter to second power. Now the flux is defined as the rate of transport of species I, which in this case will be A. Remember that I can be A, B, C, D, etc. Per unit area in a direction normal to the transport. So this is important. Remember that normal must be across the flow rate. So the flux is calculated with respect of a fixed reference frame. So what do we mean with this fixed reference frame? Is that typically, well, if you have velocity, you know that velocity must have a reference frame. If you are in a plane, maybe, you will see that probably the plane is moving 1,000 kilometers per hour. But when you're inside, you will see that the cup is not moving. So the velocity given the airplane reference plane will be zero meters per second. But if someone was watching from home, he will see that the cup will be moving at the same velocity of the airplane, which is 1,000 kilometers per hour. So this is what we mean by fixed reference frame. So this is important because the reference frame will be a given point, which is the flow rate. We're going to see that in the next slide. So this is a convenient expression, not the only one, but this is a cool one because we relate concentration of I times the velocity of I, which is referenced to a given position. Now this is interesting because we have velocity so many times we are interested on how fast something is moving how fast something is diffusing and how much time is going to take how much length is going to cover and so on so this is good and it also relates concentration so many times we know that the concentration difference is the gradient or the driving force for mass transport so we have two awesome variables right here Okay. Please note that the units are the same, they won't change. They are mole of I per cubic, sorry, per meter to second power per second. Okay. Once again, the velocity is a fixed reference. Now, the problem with the fixed reference, guys, is that in reality we have plenty of applications which the reference will move. So let's say Previously, we stated an example. Oops, we stated an example of the airplane. It's moving, right? So the same is true for the pipe. When you have a pipe, you have a bulk flow or average flow of maybe three meters per second. So if something moves three meters per second, would you say it's diffusing or it has a flux or is it not? Well, that will depend on the formal definition. You are strictly based on the reference frame by definition you do have a flux now the question will be does that flux is because of mass transport or momentum transport well later on we you will see that this is because the flow rate is affecting this flux so actually you are moving or transporting a via momentum but what will happen if for instance we have a flow rate of one meter per second and we see that a species is moving at two meters per second so the actual difference will be one meter per second so of course you would say well of course this is because of mass transport it's diffusing and that's the idea that we're going to consider from now on because now the fixed reference frame will be the moving pipe so if the pipe is moving at one meter per second and our flux of interest is moving at two meters per second our reference frame is one meter per second because we are moving the the all the material at one meter per second so two minus one will be one meter per second so this is now reference to the bulk flow instead of a pipe so if someone was watching this pipe he will see that 
flux of A is two meters per second. But if you were inside of this pipe, let's say you have a camera, and the camera, of course, will move at the same velocity of the flow. And you were inside the camera, and you will see that A is faster, therefore it's diffusing. This is mass transport, and you are now ignoring the momentum transport, which is what we want. We want to analyze the mass transport. Okay. So I, I know this might be a little bit confusing. We're going to add some mathematics later on. But right now I just want to get for you the idea that the reference is of importance. So the reference in this case is to a stationary point. You have your pipe. Maybe you will have a fixed point, which will be the pipe. But if we change the reference point, let's say to the bulk velocity, you will change this to the bulk velocity reference frame okay and we will take this as molar average velocities what are molar average velocities of course it will be impossible to define a single speed because you will have one molecule going maybe three meters per second at this angle you will have one molecule going to this angle at higher speed maybe you even have a molecule going back because it uh, got reverted because it has a collision. But what we are interested is on the average. The average of the speed, you will see that the average, if you calculate it, will be forward or to the right in maybe one meter per second. Even though, of course, one point might go reverse at 0.05 meters per second, and maybe some molecules are two meters per second in speed and so on, we are interested in average velocities, okay? Keep that in mind. Another example, as stated before, will be the example of the airplane, or in this case, in the car. So you know that you have the car, and let's say you are inside. The car is moving at 60 kilometers per second, sorry, per hour. So the car, you know that if you were outside, you will be seeing how the car moves at 60 kilometers per hour. But if you are inside the car, and let's say you want, you have your mother in front and you are on the back and your mother asks for a bottle of water. So you just need to move this one meter from the back to the front. So the distance is one meter and you do this in two seconds. So let's say this is, you are moving the bottle at a difference or velocity of 0.5 meters per second. That's depending on your reference frame, your mom and yours inside the car. But if someone were analyzing this, he would have to add the 60 kilometers per hour of the car plus the speed of your movement of the bottle. So this is what we're talking about. When we go inside the car, we don't care about this velocity. What we care is about this, which is going, for instance, going to be mass transfer, let's say that Instead of I and my mom, these were species A and species B. And species A is going to species B at 0.5 meters per second. Now, once again, we are only interested on this velocity reference inside the car because it will be kind of unfair to add this velocity because this velocity is the bulk velocity or the reference frame velocity. Okay, so hopefully you get a little bit the idea on why do we need to add reference spaces or reference frames and just to let you know guys the reference frame will always be the bulk velocity or the average velocity